Mobile World Congress is the largest mobile technology conference and it's held each year in Barcelona, Spain. Although this year the weather was cold and there was even snow, this was contrasted by the hot technology inside the event. The event covered the whole mobile digital economy, with everything from the launch of new mobile phones and gadgets to the technology that's used within the infrastructure, everything from antennas to the computing power required for the telecoms networks themselves. And of course, 5G was a major issue. The event is huge. This year, over 107,000 people attended, and there were over 2,400 companies exhibiting, and this was on top of the keynote and other sessions that were there. So let's find out the inside stories from some of the experts that were there. Mobile World Congress 2018 is another exciting event here in Barcelona. Uh, a lot of the big themes we've talked about already include 5G and the arrival of next generation mobile and what attributes it has. A lot of interest around artificial intelligence and big data, how that can be used now that we're processing more and more data on today's networks. Areas like connected cars and autonomous vehicles are also of interest as people start to look at the convergence between automotive and telecom. Quite a few examples of healthcare also on show. Uh, this is much more of a digital economy show rather than just a mobile show these days. And with over 120,000 people expected, uh, it's likely to be very busy. Another interesting area was that of voice technology. So at MWC, it's really exciting that voice continues to be one of the key features of many of the big companies. But we're just about starting to get to the, the early applications of voice. And I think over the next few years, in particular, the more innovative usage of machine learning algorithm, the capabilities of voice are really going to grow exponentially. And beam steering is a major area of interest for 5G. Here in Barcelona, at Mobile World Congress, everybody around here is uh, talking about 5G and all the exciting things and applications that 5G enables. The one big question that comes up quite a bit, though, is how those how beam steering technology fits into that world. Uh, with all the infrastructure that's going to be required for 5G, really innovative designs in terms of beam steering is going to be needed for that. There was a huge amount to see. One light-hearted exhibit was some connected Morse code work boots. And overall, the technology was really interesting and showed how everything is moving forwards. It was impossible to do the conference justice in just four days because of its size. But for more, we will have to wait until next year. Music